Time for another hot interview on the Friday Mayhem Clubhouse Show. The UK to the USA. Shout out to the whole, uh, the whole Mayhem squad, man, all the way from North Carolina. It's the Friday Mayhem Clubhouse Show with Anthony B and Mr. Carlos. Hey, 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 we're back, we're back, we're back. We've got the look and we've got the attitude. Uh, you know, I like I like the look of this, but you know, I'm not gonna lie, I I kind of like that. You like the boxes? It's, yeah, it's got the names okay, underneath as well. Yeah, yeah, you got to center yourself. Yeah. Okay, so Dillis, uh, what have yeah. you been up to today, my friend? What have I been up to today? So I woke up with a headache. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought, but I still want my cup of coffee. Okay. <laughs> and then, so I went and made a cup of coffee, made a few phone calls, and I got myself ready to come here because I was okay. really looking forward to to this actually. Okay. Why? Why? Um, is because we're sophisticated gents, or you just? Sorry, did you hear? Could you? I could hear I, some. I did hear the word sophisticated, <laughs> and I can back him on that one. Yeah, you know, well, so, uh, whatever. You know. <laughs> some, things say, some things you hear, some things you, you hear, some things you don't. But no, I heard that. The, the reason why I was looking forward to coming today yeah. is because today's the first day I'm actually meeting these guys in person. Okay. So it's okay. very nice. It's, you it's, know, it's, yeah. Thank you. So it's a pleasure. Thank it you. really is. Pleasure's all I've ours. I've not spoken to Mr. Carlos. Okay. Other than the day that I was on um, the birthday thing. The, yeah. 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 yeah and yeah, then. Yeah. He I speak to all the time. Oh. Can't get away well, from it. He oh. don't. He don't stop talking, love. Okay, stop. moving on. Uh. <laughs> He's like a record that's constantly scratched. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps talking. Yeah, constantly have an itch. Oh, love yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah. I knew I was gonna get it. Enough I knew you two were gonna double. I knew you was gonna double team. No, it's all right. That's right. Okay, so I want to talk about this. This is the first. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I am so glad Dillis is up in the building today <laughs> because she's kind of tall still. She's not. She's not sure. Do you remember, Carlos? Yeah. Um, uh, we had uh, artists come in, and uh, she was in between us, and I think she was about four foot nothing. She was, yeah, she was kind of tiny. I could lean on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember she was very, very short, very, very. I know, short. And she and she say had, petite for a woman. Men well, are she, sharp. She, she, sharp. She, had hills, sharp. she had heels on as well, and she still felt. <laughs> you know, we're just full of jokes today. Yeah. Uh, listen, we're here all night. Okay, all right. One more time. I'm just going to bring it up. So, what do you think, um, uh, guys? I'm going to start off with uh, you, Dillis, because it's a short man and uh, a <laughs> uh, tall woman. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Would you date somebody shorter than you? Never. I'm talking to never. the. Be- <laughs> no, come on, Dennis. never. That's, come that's on, a man. form of discrimination. As in, never. <laughs> you can't discriminate against never. size. Come on. Why not? On. Why not? Let's let's find out. Why not? Why not? I'm not re- breastfeeding a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dating a short guy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but I don't. I'm not attracted to short men. I'm a I'm a big woman. I'm mm. five foot nine without heels. With heels, I'm like six foot. Yeah. Um, I need a man that you know can handle my greatness. <laughs> and, you know, you you understand? Know. And uh, for uh, me, uh, it just can never work. Never, <laughs> as in. Okay. Never. So, are you trying to imply? I'm not implying. I'm saying that if a, <laughs> that if a man. <laughs> and let's get this right. If a man is not over five nine, no, no, five, no, he, the, the, he's not the same height as me. Oh. Six two. You know, I've always heard people say that good things come in small packages. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Oh, <laughs> it's a lie. Well, I can't really you. relate to that with six foot three. But I do know there must be people out there that can back okay. the fact that it may not be the tallest. Okay. Let me, I'm just saying, this question was asked to me. I'm not responding for womankind. For some women, they like little men. It's yeah. just not for me. Okay. But, but, but sorry, but let me just on, ask you a question. Ask the question, man. Now, are you knocking something that you haven't tried? I don't need to try a short man. You're short. Oh, yeah. come You're, on! No, but the thing come. is, I, no, no, no. listen. Let me tell you one thing with me. I don't do come. political correctness. I don't yeah. the truth. Yeah, I don't business. Yeah, she's straight I talking. I personally man. do okay. not date short. I'm not saying short men are not handsome or they're not yeah. marriage material. I'm saying aesthetically, for me. It can't work. But, but I like to be handled. Okay. 
Right. Uh, okay. I think that's a bit harsh myself. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think there are <laughs> yeah, no. short men that could actually physically pick you up, throw you about, no, Carlos, and do I... things that you, you'd be surprised. <laughs> really? Can I? Can I interject? Really? <laughs> can, can I? Can I oh, ask a question good. about yeah. handled? What, what do you mean by oh, handled? Get out of here. Oh, handled. <laughs> I'm not talking about that I kind just, of handled. I'm I just, saying. I just want to know. I'm, I'm, I'm mean, just I, saying. I like to feel protected. I like the fact that saying. you know I'm dressed up. I'm in my heels, and you know my man is Listen, up there. Bruce Lee was four foot nothing. I'm like, sure he could protect you. <laughs> and when they're now. <laughs> Yeah, didn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good, lost, that, that was medicine, my dear, medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with anybody oh, else. Yeah. And Mike That's Tyson wasn't the tallest man. And are we still the, are And we he was still the on? baddest man on the planet at one point. Are we still on? I'm not talking about <laughs> just a roughneck. Okay. I'm saying, when I talk about handle, I want to be confident, not just because you're a trained boxer, okay? <laughs> not when we, we have... Don't swear out your walls here. But when we, when there is an issue that at least, even if you can't handle the situation, someone yeah. will presume that you can. Okay. I don't want you to have to feel that. And and short man syndrome is real. Do you yeah. understand? <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. Well, Carlos, um, uh, we we can actually vouch for that. Do you remember a club <laughs> we used to go to um, in? Uh, London, yeah. called uh, Illusions, and yeah. you remember the uh, security guard? He was four foot nothing. Okay. Yep. And he just wouldn't let us in. He just oh. treated us really bad. And I think it was short man there syndrome because uh, we're six foot. I'm six two. I think you're six. I'm six three. Yeah. Six three. Yeah, yeah, See yeah. There? The oh. man them. I just think <laughs> personally, I just think that Phyllis needs to broaden her horizon. I don't need to broaden. You know, it, yeah. it's very, it's Dillis, very narrow. And it's Dillis. Dillis. Sorry, Dillis. You need to <laughs> broaden it. You know. Yeah. What I'm to find a short man that can remember my name. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I like? It's the first time I've met this. Oh, <laughs> number, you know, and, and, and it ain't so gonna kill, be the lad. Oh, she's killing you out here, that's man. A, that's a, that's a, that's a oh, threat. Shut up, mate. She's okay. killing all the short men. All right, all right, guys. To, and I'm trying to defend right. them. No, I love, I love men who are not. I love everybody. I'm just yeah. saying, if you're asking me, Dillis, who would you date? Man. Okay. I, I wouldn't date a short man. Okay, Sorry. you know what? Coming up, uh, she's in a green room right now. Actress, comedian. How'd you pronounce the name, guys? Ajay? Ajay. Ajay Sanders. Love she's Ajay. fantastic. I'll tell you what, she's been in a number of uh, shows. We're going to be speaking to her uh, in a minute uh, okay. after this. Okay, so we're going to be speaking to the funny, funny girl. Shall I do it once more? Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, there she is, coming up. Okay. Right here on the number one. The Mayhem Soul Show with the boys with the noise and to be a Mr. Carlos and our special guest live in the studio, the one and only Dillis. Okay, watch this, guys. I was too busy looking for love. So I guess you can say I was running a non-profit organization. <laughs> How are, so are you? So just so you guys can under, it's just pronounced AJ. It just looks more exotic oh. than it is it's not you know so I, I know you guys were afraid to say my name wrong yeah yeah, yeah. very very scared so yeah. I, appreciate I was worried it. <laughs> well, I'm scared, but, you know it's kind of like it's a, it's a, I was I, worried man I'm not gonna lie AJ <laughs> <laughs> I was scared oh, you, guys are, you guys are hilarious <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know we try oh my we try. goodness um, uh, just just before we actually uh, move on to the interview, would you date a short man? Would you date a sh- a man short? Thank you. Thank AJ, you. come on, come on, Listen, come on, be like that. I'm, no, I'm gonna. I'm speaking from experience. Dennis yeah. is right. She's absolutely <laughs> correct. I want to be handled. I want to be. I want to feel <laughs> like I. You know, I want yeah. something to like aspire to. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I want something. You know, I, I want to feel. <laughs> I like that masculine, yes, strong, definitely. tall. Thank yes. you for coming on the show. Yeah. Right, AJ, listen, you don't have to <laughs> climb the stairs to get to the bedroom. You can have the bedroom downstairs. Yeah, that's for this. No, that's I lost for you. Right. Right. No, no, you've lost all of us. Lost you. The downstairs <laughs> bedroom is for the children. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, I love you already. Uh, oh, uh, mate, I'm, I'm not going to win. You guys are giving short men a hard time here today. Well, I don't know. Just, and, and, I don't know and she's going. right. No, I'm just, I'm going to say that uh, my, my second husband was the same height as me. And, you know, short man syndrome is real. It's real. It is. Because like, I, like, I was under the impression that big things came in small packages. And, you know, that was true to a certain degree. But in character and in... 
confidence? No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. I got you. <laughs> Girl power, girl power. <laughs> Did you have an effect? You wear heels or anything, you know, to make him feel uncomfortable? No, I, I, I would wear, I, I, uh, I would wear shorter heels, like maybe okay. like the kitten heels or whatever, just you know, for whatever reason. But you know, I like to wear the stilettos. I like to, yeah. pran- I like to prance. You know, I want to feel again. <laughs> I want to, I want to be handled like she's with the way she said it. Like it's. Yeah. It's something yeah. different about a beautiful, tall, masculine, chocolate, you know? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, okay. let, let me and Anthony just apologize, you know, because we obviously meet that criteria. So, uh... <laughs> 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 okay. guys. We're just going right. to apologize you know now. Um, I'm really sorry. And, Listen, uh, we got, it's not we my got, fault. We've got to get on with this interview. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. thank you. Thank you, AJ, uh, for joining us on the show. Really most appreciated. You grew up in uh, Texas, Dallas. Um, yes. uh, tell us a little bit about that and how it was like for you growing up. It was very ordinary, you know. Um, loving family, you know, um, family gatherings, red beans and cornbread and, you know, the, the typical stereotypical Southern family, you know. Um, my father actually lived in, my father is a former Golden Glove boxer. Oh, and wow. And he lives, he lived at the time in Los Angeles and we, you know, always stayed in touch and had a great relationship. And so I moved out to Los Angeles uh, when I was 17, right out of high school. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to graduate and go to LA and become a, you know, what I thought was a star. I wanted to be an actress and I didn't know I wanted to be a stand up comedian. It kind of fell into my lap. I was sort of thrust mm. into it. Um, yeah. So, but yeah, I had a wonderful, I have a wonderful mom and, you know, we I had a great childhood. Yeah. I mean, is that something you wanted to do, um, uh, being a comedian? I mean, when you were young, a tender age of, I don't know, six, seven, eight, what did you actually want to uh, do in your life? <laughs> a bit early, isn't I want, it? I wanted, very early. Very early. When I was younger, I just, I wanted to be like Diana Ross. You know, okay. I, wanted to be, I wanted to be that. I wanted to be an entertainer. You know, mm. Lola Falana and Diane Carroll, those women were my inspirations, you know? And um, so I wanted, to, I wanted to be that. So as, for as long as I can remember, I always sang and danced and, performed i didn't know i wanted to be a comedian though because i was a very quiet child okay and, um very shy so the com- the comedy thing sort of happened uh serendipitous, serendipitous. Yeah, how, how did how did you come out of your shyness because to be a comedian you know you've got to have that kind of uh confidence that personality how did you come out of your uh, shyness so I didn't know. So I just started to I started to go to this club in Los Angeles that was very popular at the time called the Comedy Act Theater. Okay. And so what and we my friend and I would go regularly and so we became friendly with the comedians and the host and the owner. And one night uh one of the guys, one of the comedians was late and he asked uh me to introduce the host. He goes, "Just open the show. Just, you know, just okay. say hello to the audience and I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm an actress. I can do that. Yeah, I didn't know yeah, how yeah. frightening and terrifying it was. And um, so I, I I died the death of it. I was not funny. It was There was nothing <laughs> about me that said that I was going to you know, be funny. And uh, he kept encouraging me to come back. And so the host, mm. Robin Harris, uh, he helped me write material. And he sort of, and so I started to watch people like Martin Lawrence that came to yeah. the club and people like Tommy Davidson and Damon Wayans and I, and they gave me advice and they said, just create a persona. Yeah. Just and be I yourself. Thought, yeah. Yeah. I, no, I couldn't it was being myself. I would be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I created this. So my, so my sassiness on stage is really like a copy of the way I watched Martin Lawrence uh, perform when they would pretend to be women on stage or whatever. They would imitate women, so I would sort of mock them, and then I, and then slowly but surely I started to develop my own voice. Okay, all right, and and then you moved. Uh, how did you, um, uh, you know, transition from uh, the comedic work to to acting? Uh, you've been in a different world. How how did you transition 
from uh, the comedic or did you just merge the two? So it all sort of happened at the same time. So I, my, my ori originally and first was theater. I performed in theater and I was acting before I started to do stand up comedy. Okay. But the really funny thing is when I debuted on Deaf Comedy Jam, I don't know if you yeah. guys got that. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that you on very, uh, YouTube. Yeah. So that very same week. So I auditioned for both of those things at the same time. All and right. ironically, they both debuted in the same week of that year. Okay. So people sort of know me as both. Okay. All right. Did they pick you up from, uh, because that was on uh, BET, Deaf Comedy Jam. Did they say this this woman's got it she's she's got something At, well actually death comedy jam was on hbo that's what i said right <laughs> <laughs> like you said it was on hbo and no so th so they had bob sumner was a, a talent scout and co-producer of death comedy jam and russell simmons just sent tim out to the highways and byways of all black comedy clubs in the country and i was one that was chosen to uh perform on the show but you, but you know what aj you know sometimes to start this career there has to be a, a time that you believe that you're capable of achieving that dream when yes. was that point for you that you realized look i can be a comedian was it in school was you the funny no. character around your friends was it family no, gatherings sure. when mm. did you realize look i've got this i make people laugh I put a smile on their face. I don't laugh at my husband because he's too short. What, what was it? What was it? No, was I didn't think through? I was funny until uh, I started to do stand-up comedy. I had I didn't know how to craft jokes until I was taught that. You know, I was so blessed to have been able to be uh, mentored by people like Eddie Murphy and Robin Harris wow. and Ben Dad. Those guys yeah. used to come to the club all the time, and so they would always show me what to do. And so mm. one day I thought, I've got to make, I've got to, I've got to just make this one. There was this one guy who would not laugh at all on the front row. And I was like, if I make him laugh, and I know that I'm funny. Sure enough, one day I said a funny joke and he laughed and he was real big and fat and jolly. And he would just bounce up and down when he laughed. And I thought, I got him. So that's when I knew, I knew around 1989 that I was funny, that I had the, that I had the talk. Okay. Okay. So you're, so you're it's, I don't want to cut it. But your inspiration then was more a case of seeing people thinking I can do that. Yes. Than actually being funny throughout your school life, etc. Yeah, no, I was never funny in school. I was quiet. <laughs> okay. I was I mean, I was a yeah. cheerleader and I was in the band. I was a nerd, Love you that. know. I didn't I didn't even know that I had the funniness. But when I developed my 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 style, I I realized that it is in me because my father is really funny. So my timing okay, is a lot like my father. Okay, Dillis. Because when I was growing up, the first thing I wanted to be was a stand-up comedian. Really? Before I ever, yeah, before I, and an impersonator, because I could impersonate anyone. Really? So, yeah, it's what I really wanted to do. <laughs> but why are you laughing? Because we haven't seen that, AJ. I just <laughs> no, want to no, let no. you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen it yet. Come on. I wish I would have met you back in the 90s when I came to London, uh, we performed at the, I was with D.L. Hughley and I performed with oh, him at, at the Lucium Theater. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. we know that. Lucium Theater. Yeah, we yeah, and sorry, we make a it. wonderful guy named Richard Blackwell. Yeah, yeah, Richard. yeah. Blackwell. he's our friend. We know Blackwood. Richard. I've known him for years, yeah, man. Tell him hello Rich. for me. Tell him hello. I will. I will. I will. I've got his number. Carlos hasn't. I, I've got. I'm number. actually going to watch him. Watch him. <laughs> I was very Monday good friends coming. with his late mom. How about that? <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. Well, so you wanted to be a stand-up comedian, Dillis. I had wanted yeah. to be many years ago, and I, you know, people keep saying to me, you know, you should, you should try it. Mm. I don't know if I actually would. So what would be your advice to me that I've done so many other things? I just kind of incorporate a little bit of laughter in whatever it is I'm doing with MCing or I'm doing my show or what have you. But if I really wanted to, you know, hmm. go out there and be known as a stand-up comedian, what would be your advice to me? Do it. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> because that's all there is. You don't know until you know. Like stand-up comedy yeah. is so, it's, it's such a precarious uh, thing because you can't really practice it. You just have no. to yeah. take a chance, step out there on fit. Like every time I've been doing this for 30 years, I still get mm. 
just so nervous that I that it makes me want to throw up almost. I guess. Yeah. But mm -hmm. all I have to do is just do the first five minutes, and once I get through the first five minutes, I'm good. Right. Yeah. I'm golden. Oh. I will know? take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll you're beautiful. You're funny. You have the chops. This constructive. Of oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, it's all right, mate. You're, you're on the show, AJ. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to convince us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised, Dillis. You didn't ask myself and Carlos what was what? What, what would it take? You know. Why would I ask? You got it. You just got it. I've got a question for you, um, uh, and how do you put pen to paper is it life experiences when when you're actually writing your material how how does that come about well a lot of heartbreak <laughs> oh, okay. a lot of tragedy um that for, so so for me uh the, my material is based on my my particular life experiences and uh i talk a lot about myself my, my relationships, my point of view, my opinions about things. So a lot of it actually comes from just self-righteous indignation and arrogance and being okay. in anger. A lot of it comes from yeah. anger. Right, got you. you. Know, I mean, to be honest, it comes from me getting really pissed off at the way the women are, are viewed. Yeah. Uh, right. maybe, maybe pissed off at my ex-husband, but I don't want to man bash but yeah. I wanted mm. to share my experience with that situation. Sure, mm. sure. So um, I just, I give it, it, it has to give it, I have to give it time, you know, to mm. get through mm. the anger or the bitterness or whatever. And then I can see it clearly and go, yeah. actually, mm. that's a funny situation. Yeah. So. yeah. Do, do you have time frames, or or is it just something that just comes to mind? It could take a month, two months. What What is it like for, for you? you Oh, well, let's see. With my divorce material, I think that came, uh, that sort of developed as it was going. Okay. So, yeah. So, like, when as we were breaking up, I was talking about it slowly, but surely. And so the jokes sort of, like, developed themselves along the way. And I go, oh, that word is funnier there than what I said last week or whatever. Okay. So, All right. Okay. Thank you. And uh, moving on uh, to your theater work my friend uh yes. i know you're working with my good good friends uh tara and carla lovely yes. people of the world uh they're your friends they're my as friends well. now. Thank yeah you. yeah those um uh, what is it those women are amazing yeah yeah so grateful to know them yes yeah so this theater work uh, if you can just give us a brief synopsis about that please so uh a stage play called ain't no family like the one i got and, uh, and it's about a family that uh, uh, create that creates all of this uh, drama and comedy. I'm I play the mother and the wife named Frida, okay. mm -hmm. and um, I think that my daughters are. I have two grown daughters and one uh, daughter that's eight. And I think that my daughters are all perfect. I think my family's perfect <laughs> until I discover that it's not. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow. So, wow. And is that out now or? Where could people uh, opening night is tomorrow night, April 1st, and right. we're going to run for a weekend. This is our third run. We did it once, uh, twice last year, and we're doing it again this year. So uh, we open tomorrow night. Okay, fantastic. And my okay. final question to you is uh, what can people expect from you, my friend? What can they expect from you for the future, for the future? So I am going to write a book. Okay. Yes, I'm going to do an autobiography about my experience in Hollywood. And um, a lot of Hollywood people are not going to be happy about that. But oh, well, okay. um, you guys will probably know it. <laughs> I'm just going to share my experience. Um, but yes, I'm going to be pretty, pretty much a book about my life. And then I'm also working on, um, I'm also a, I work for a, a streaming company called The Brick TV. And I okay. help uh, create content for that online streaming network. So I really want to do more behind the camera things uh, okay. and uh, and really help other people score and become successful. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. okay. All right. Fantastic. I need, I need, I need AJ's number. Yeah, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gonna, can exchange numbers. Uh, <laughs> yes. She wants to have a meet. Oh, anyway, it's another okay. story. Yes. <laughs> okay. great. But listen, thank you so much for coming on the show. 
really most appreciated. It really gives an insight to the viewers what you're about. You know, everybody, um, particularly myself, when a comedian comes on, we just expect them to bring the funny straight away from the beginning to the end. But you've just given us a good story. No, no, <laughs> and, uh, been great. It's been and, a pleasure. And, and we love you. Yeah, for that. I'm not. I'm not that one that's on all the time. I just, I just, I li I'm like Dillis. You know, I like to insert funny things in a real conversation. You know, I like mm. real talk. Yeah. yeah, real that's talk. The one. That's what no, I like yeah, about you. You see, now we're all friends. Uh, I know you're my friend. Well, Thank why you. Do you for... Why do you look so much like Kirk Franklin to me, though? Speaking of short men, I know you're not. <laughs> <Kirk Franklin. laughs> Which, which version are you talking about? I just, the one that, the I, just like, year old or the <laughs> I just want to say I'm fifth. I'm I'm six foot two. I'm six foot two. So. Oh, I know that. I know that. You look like yeah, a yeah, tall yeah. version of. of Kirk I am. I am. I just want to bring that so in. Funny. Yeah, because I'm not sure. Have you been told that before? Shut up, man. Shut up. <laughs> I see, I thought, I, I Thank thought, you so much for uh, coming on. So, sorry, I, just, I thought more Samuel Jackson. Was saying, but, uh, oh, no. uh, I don't mind. Uh, not a wrong way. Not a wrong way. Thank you. But thank you so much for coming on. Um, uh, you know, I always say, you know, you're, we're blessed um, to have talented actresses and, and uh, comedians like yourself coming on. So thank you so much so much thank you thank you, thank you. Yep, definitely. it's been a true thank blessing you so much, you guys. and yeah. and could you just send the tickets over to the uk so we can come and watch you in the <laughs> yeah, theater three tickets okay absolutely just, absolutely we're gonna we're gonna the lion, you know. i can i can see it in your eyes <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna send no tickets <laughs> i don't have any <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, he doesn't have a passport. Uh, I don't have a passport. You can't, you can't leave the UK. It's free you guys when I come to London. 100%. Of course you can. Yeah, okay, I'm going to look you guys up. Don't forget yeah, yeah. that said hello. He was wonderful to work with. Don't oh, care. fantastic! Don't Thank. Care. I will definitely with Richard because I know him quite. We, we know him quite well. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually going to watch him next week. Yeah, live, live. Mm. Wow. Yeah, so. Okay. So Yay. listen, have a good weekend oh, and yeah. we speak to you soon. Take care. Okay, Bye. thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, she's, she's fantastic. Lovely. What what do you think, guys? No, she's, she's really good. Really she's real, good. man. Real, she's real, nice. real, 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 real. Okay. I just wondered if her glasses were working because she mentioned you and Kurt Franklin <laughs> in the same breath. That was so funny. I'm just, I'm a little you bit concerned. You know I'm going to find a, a name. Okay, so this is Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> We got Misham Young, she's in the building. From the UK to the USA. Shout out to the whole uh, Cold Mayhem squad, man, all the way from North Carolina. It's the Friday Mayhem Clubhouse Show with Anthony B and Mr. Carlos. Thanks for watching the Friday Mayhem Clubhouse Show. We will see you soon. Click on the bell and subscribe to the Friday Mayhem Clubhouse Show channel.